Rise and shine, Light of Empire. How are you feeling? Does your body still hurt because of the transformation? You spent so many hours agonizing in pain while you were turning into a vampire. It got a little boring after five hours of screaming and thrashing around. I thought you wouldn't make it, you know? You sure took your sweet time. Ah, uh, of course. The first thing that comes out of your mouth after finally waking up is an offense towards me. Ah, oh, it's good to have you back, love. <laughs> hmm, where are you? Well, in one of my mansions. In the dungeon of one of my mansions, more specifically. I brought you here while you were turning. I know, you probably aren't happy with the cell and the chains around you, but it's necessary. I knew you would try to escape as soon as you opened your pretty little eyes. So, I had to make sure it wouldn't happen. I cannot have my sweetheart roaming around the streets, can I? Besides, it's day right now. If you try to go out, you would burn to ashes. I do like a little bit of pain, but not in that level. I imagine you feel the same, even if you do like it rough. Hmm? <laughs> mm. You want to know for how long I plan to keep you trapped in here? Why do you want to know? Oh, is it because you cannot wait to wrap your arms around my super hot body? <laughs> I bet it is. What? More like wrap your hands around my neck? Oh, darling, I can work with that. No problem. <laughs> Anywho, I'm going to keep you here until you start to behave for me. Cannot show you off to the other vampires if you are not nice and obedient, after all. I only have one rule for the people I turn. Obey me. At all times, whatever I tell you to do, you cannot question it. You just smile and do it. But I'm already well aware that you are quite unruly. So, while you are here, I'll be training you and working on convince you to obey me. Mmm, I can already picture it. It will be so fun to tame you. After you are trained, I will let you get out of here. You still will be under my constant supervision until I fully trust you. But it sure is better than to be trapped in here. Don't you agree, love? <laughs> Did you just call me an ugly psycho? I'm not ugly. I was the most handsome man in my village when I was human. And after I was turned, I was the most handsome man on my creator's castle. And I was a psycho part. Oh, people call me worse. So, you will have to step up your game, darling. <sighs> oh, please. You still don't understand the situation you're in. Love, you're not a monster hunter anymore. You are the monster. You're my darling now, my sweet pet, my honey, mine. Your days of hunting are over. From now on, you just kill to feed yourself or when I tell you to kill. The sooner you accept that, the better for you. As I said, you are not getting out of this cell until you behave how I want you to behave. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. You're gonna regret this. I'm gonna make you pay for this. Everyone always say the same things. <laughs> so boring. Now, shut up. And let me ask you something. Are you thirsty? 
You must be starving, right? Don't worry, I have something for you. <laughs> A blood bag. Fresh blood straight from humans' vein is much better. But I don't think you deserve that yet. So, I got you this instead. Drink it. That's the first order I'm giving you. You want? <sighs> I was expecting you to refuse, sure. But it annoys me all the same. But I want to be a good partner for you. So I will try again. <clears throat> My darling. Could you? Please. Bring this blood back I got for you. It's for your own good. I promise you. Oh, gosh. You are so frustrating. And stubborn. And impossible. I even say please. I never said please to anyone before you. And you still will not comply? <laughs> oh, do you think you really can starve yourself to death? Vampires cannot die of starvation. The only thing that will happen if you don't feed is that you will start to lose your mind because of the thirst. You will go feral, and one way or another, you will end up drinking the blood I gave you because you will be so out of your own mind that you will not even think about trying to resist it. Actually, you will not think about anything at all. Monster hunger will always speak louder, my dear. But you don't care, do you? You don't believe what I'm saying. So, you're gonna try it anyway. I'm sorry, honey. Love. I refuse to let you starve. I don't want to see your beautiful self turn into a completely savage beast. You don't know how unsightly something like that can be. I hate unsightly and unattractive things. Hmm? What am I going to do? <laughs> With you myself, of course. Now, isn't that so romantic? Open your mouth. Uh, open your mouth right now. Oh, that's it. Here, drink it. Drink everything. Ah, that's it. That's it. Now that you finally taste the blood. You don't seem so eager to rest this. Hmm? <laughs> I told you. Your hunger will always win the battle. Every time. For all eternity. Oh, don't you dare call me disgusting. You're the one who drank the entire blood bag and even made a mess all over your clothes and the floor. You're as disgusting as me. The perfect match. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I forced you to drink it, but only in the beginning. After that, you took over the bag yourself and drank it up until the last drop. Leave you alone? Why? I like seeing you all covered in blood. I told you that before. It makes me hot. Excited. Let me enjoy the view. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. No need to throw the empty blood back at me. I'm almost done here. So I will leave soon. For now, that is. You're all dirty. So, I need to bring you some water and clean clothes. Or, do you want to spend the rest of the day like this? Uh, yeah, that's what I thought, sweetie. Hmm. I must say, I'm impressed with how strong you are. You were able to take the blood back from my hands even when you are all chained up like this. Of course, you're still not stronger than me. So, don't even think about trying something stupid. But, you're probably stronger than vampires that are around for decades. It's rare, 
But sometimes, it happens that a newborn vampire is stronger than older ones. Don't let it get it to your head, though. I'm the only one allowed to be cocky around here. <laughs> ah, you have no sense of humor. Always making these faces at me. As if I'm saying something stupid. You better start smiling and laughing more if you want to get out of here faster. If you smile for me right now, I will bring you more blood. I may even bring you a human so you can taste fresh blood. It's so much better than blood bags. <laughs> what? <laughs> well, after you two, you a hole. I'm tired of your insolence. Come here right now. What? What is it? Hmm? Are you mad I'm grabbing you by the hair? Are you mad you cannot do anything against me? Or are you actually turned on, you freak? Something deep inside tells me that you like this. You like the things I do to you. You like me. I know, I know you do. You like me, and soon, well, very soon, you will love me. <laughs> Shut up. Don't say you hate me. It's not true. Shut up and just give me a kiss. That's my second order for you. You cannot deny me. You don't have a choice. You are mine, so I can kiss you if I want. Whenever and wherever I want. <laughs> mm. You're mine. <laughs> oh, you're mine. Only mine. Oh, mine. Mine. Ah. Did you just bite my lips? <laughs> yeah. ah, of course you did. That's like you. I forgot how you'd like to do things. Let's get even, shall we? <laughs> how do you like that? It's not nice when you're in the receiving end, is it? But then again, that's what you probably enjoy, right? <sighs> Relax, love. I will do to you everything you enjoy. But are too shy to tell me. Is that why you provoke me so much? You want me to be more aggressive, but you are too shy to ask for it. Yeah? Of course. That's it. That's why you say you hate me. You don't actually hate me. You just want me to be more dominant. Now it makes sense. Now I understand. Oh gosh, you're too cute. Don't worry, darling. We will have so much fun while you are here. I promise. Oh, poor thing. You really think you have a choice? You say you're never going to submit to me, but I told you to drink the blood bag I gave to you and you did. I told you to kiss me and even though you pretend you didn't want to, we kissed. Think about it. Even if you don't want to submit to me, do you really have a choice? Maybe you're already a slave to all of my wants and you just don't know yet. Maybe you do know it and you just don't want to admit it. Anyway, I will go away now. You need some alone time to reflect about your bad behavior. I will be back again in some hours. You didn't smile for me, but I did get a kiss in the end. So, I will bring you more blood. <sighs> Bye, my love. Don't miss me too much. <sighs> yeah, yeah, you hate me, sure, sure. Love you too, little vampire. Ha, 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 ha.